our next session is decoding the next big pivot for the music industry. For our new uh, viewers, this is Preeti Katpal, your host from Mumbai, and we're celebrating World Music Day brought to you by Loudest.in with Showcase brought to you by Exchange for Media and BW Business World. Well, it's time to welcome our second panel. We have the Prince of Bhangra joining us here. Uh, team, do we have him here? Yes, are we ready to welcome him? All right, let's get ready to welcome our second panel. We're going to talk about decoding the next big pivot for the music industry. First up, we have MD and President PDC Network. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Ravindra Narayan. Hi, Hamza. Very warm welcome, sir. I hope, uh, I hope uh, you are in love with music like all oh, of yes. us. Would you tell me which is your favorite genre of music? Since I look after Punjabi, so I would say Punjabi is, that's what the beat is right now. That's what is making the world go around. So Punjabi music. All right. Yes. So we're talking about music and Punjabi music, which makes us dance. I can also see Siddharth here with me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, CEO of Event Crafters, Siddharth Chaturvedi. Hi, Siddharth. How are you? Very good, Preeti. Happy World Music Day to all of you and uh, everyone. Uh, really delighted to be here today and uh, uh, looking forward to a great engagement. Uh, well, it's wonderful to have you here. You've also uh, done a lot of events, music-related events, correct? Uh, yeah, I've been the uh, festival to these festivals, to many music festivals. Uh, so, yeah, we're not fortunate. We're very excited to listen to the journey and uh, a lot more. Well, before that, uh, we also have composer, music director, Shamir Tandan. Has he joined us? All right. And I'm really excited to meet the Prince of Bhangra, Sukhbir. Do we have Sukhbir joining us? Team, can we have them on? All right, so let's get ready for our next session, which will be led once again by the CEO of Showcase Events. Once again, please welcome Nani Singh. Oops, 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 sorry, sorry. I didn't realize that. Sorry. Hi, Siddharth. Nice to see you here again. And uh, Always good to see you. And hi, Mr. Nana. And good to see you again. Good to so, see you. So thank you, Preeti. And a perfect day to meet up yet again. And uh, I just saw a message saying that I'm moderating the session. So lovely. We are waiting for, I think, Sukhbir is joining us from Dubai. And I don't know where Shamir is just now. So I guess he'll join us some stage. But however, because we've got, uh, there's a certain time that's been allocated. So let's get cracking. So, um, you know, uh, talking about introductions and talking about knowing more about you. So I think best would be if you tell us about yourselves, about your connection and a musical journey and your uh, what what is what does music mean to you because today we're going to be moving on to decoding the next pivot so but first let's understand what music means for us so over to you Mr. Nara and let's hear from you music for me is life I mean if there's no music there's no life and as they say the entire world was created out of a beat of the sound of ohm and that's the creation sound and uh, since we run about six Punjabi channels and three of them are music channels, PTC Music, PTC Chakde, and PTC mm -hmm. Whole TV. Plus we have a record label, PTC Records, where we record those who cannot afford to record and make their videos and record music. We help them. We do about 500 or 600 original songs in a year under PTC Records. Then we have a streaming app where we stream all this content. Plus we have 19 beams going across the world where the world is enjoying the Punjabi music. Hmm. And uh, I would say the success of Punjabi music has been the Punjabi channels led by PTC and others, Tashan, MH1 and the likes. And Punjabi music, as we know, today rules the world everywhere you go, be it Canada, Australia, Dubai, sure. uh, USA, and, uh, and faraway places like uh, New Zealand, Belgium, Spain. I've seen packed houses in Spain listening to Malkit Singh's live show. And so Punjabi music is across the globe. And right now it's the India, Indian music is known 
with the Punjabi music, I would say the sound of Punjabi music has made Indian music popular. The other forms of Punjabi music, which are now emerging, the rap, the fusion, the folk pop, and all those new things which are coming in, they are making it more popular amongst the, not just the non-Punjabis, but even the non-Indians, the audiences abroad in, in US, Canada, uh, UK, Australia, Belgium, Rome, the whole of Europe, I would say, people are listening to Punjabi music and Punjabi music is conquering the world by its ability to adapt and to merge and to fuse with other forms and to inspire them. That's right. That's yeah. right. You know what you just said, uh, I, I will just give you my little incident, uh, which was really surprising. Siddharth, this might interest you as well. It's like I was down in Greece for a thalassemia conference, which is like a few years ago. And down in the small place called Thessaloniki. So, you know, you wouldn't even think anybody would understand. But of course, like Greece is like India, you pick up a stone and there's a musician. So there's a lot of rich culture over there and art and culture and music and all. And uh, so, of course, you know, like every conference has a gala dinner. So in the evening, they had this music, etc. And we had a big delegation from India over there. But people were there from across the world. We were about 1,500 delegates for that conference. So then came the Greeks had put together this musical evening and they came up with their instruments. So there was this big instrument which looked like a dhol. Okay, and beautifully they were playing pretty, I won't say they were our rhythms, but they were slower rhythms and they were playing their rhythms, etc. We had one surdi in our delegation. So after a while of, you know, listening to their music and the patience, you know how it is after a few drinks down, the patience was kind of wearing out. He just went and he said, can you hold? And there was, language was a big barrier because they couldn't understand what he was saying. He said, can you hold? And the guy said, yeah. He said, sticks. He took the sticks and he started playing the Punjabi dhol. All the people who were sitting were on the floor. <laughs> All the people. Then they had on the pen drive, they had Gurunalu Ishq Bitha. They gave it to the sound guy, the DJ. There was no DJ, I mean, the sound guy. They gave it to him to plug it into the laptop and played it. Everybody was on the floor and the song was played in a loop. So yes. all impra exactly like, you know, reiterating what you just said. It's like Punjabi music has captured the world and a non-Indian audience. But yes. it's the rhythm. It's the rhythm in the music. The sound is so powerful. And we were all on the floor. I think we probably danced for two hours after that. And there was no stopping. So, the innate yeah. beauty of the Punjabi music is that it, 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 it has passion in it. Yeah. And that's what moves everyone who listens to the Punjabi music. Even the softer songs, it's not just about yeah. the Gurunak Ishq Mithai, yeah. even Sari Raat Tera Takani uh -huh. Like where? Look at the softness in that song and how it all comes around. Boliyan or Tappe, two lines tell you the whole story. Absolutely. Uh, look at the poetry yeah. even. Bilkul, Probably bilkul. the closest to this would be haiku in Japan, but this is amazing stuff and it's doing very well. It's finally got its glory. Uh, Absolutely. Punjabi music and similarly the Indian music uh, yeah. riding on the Punjabi wave is getting its glory now. Bilkul, bilkul. Absolutely. And, I totally and I'm so, it. so, so glad that in our lifetime we are seeing musicians making a career out of it, making money out of music. Perennially, if you've seen from the olden times, the classical music, the folk music, they would live in penury. I mean, hmm. masters would be on their deathbed where nobody is able to look after them. And look at the music stars now. They are driving the Ferraris and the Audi. And, and, style. and they're getting 40 lakhs a show, 25 lakhs a show. Sure. So that's a brilliant thing which has happened. That musicians can actually make a living out of music. A profession out of it, yeah. Yes. Earlier, earlier it was a passion and then one just kind of dived into it. Look at Ustad Bismillah Khan Sahib, you know. Yes. Uh, you get goosebumps when you see what he has done with the Shehnai and then ah. look at the way he went in that one he little man, man, he home home on that one bed. I mean, he was alone when he died. Not a person and not, not nothing to, you know, there's no palace that he went in. So, uh, yeah, I agree with you. In that respect, yes, I think at least Similar is the story of Mehndi Hassan, Idu Shari, all these people. Totally. Nobody knew. What when happened and when they went. And yeah. they're all Padma Shri's and Padma Vibhushan's. And, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, very true. That is really true. So Siddharth, you see, you've been doing, you've been working so closely with music for so many years. And so how do you see this trend changing with the music, music and musicians? Uh, maybe it's been a long journey. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, it started... Uh, 
I mean, I mean, of course, music has always been there, but I'm talking about the whole evolution and the whole, I mean, I'll say a revolution, which is, which we are seeing today, um, you know, <clears throat> in music uh, is thanks to a lot of uh, stuff which happened in the early 90s, uh, you know, uh, a lot of credit goes to uh, MTV coming in in India, you know, Channel V at that point of time, you know, starting music videos and stuff in India got into this thing of, oh, there are, there are music videos available to to watch uh, apart yeah. from the, those uh, movie songs. Uh, so, you know, the whole ball, I mean, of course, Bollywood has been predominantly dominating the music uh, scene in our country. Um, I'm talking about popular music per se. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, uh, but this whole evolution of independent artists coming in and a lot of new music happening uh, in the early 90s and 2000, actually we saw, I mean, pandemic has been a big boost to a whole independent music scene in our country. And it has evolved and revolutionized like nobody's business. $1.2 billion is, is, is a guesstimated figure of what independent music has made during the pandemic. Uh, you know, 500 million users consuming music today uh, over internet, such, uh, I mean, thanks to geos of the world of, uh, you know, of getting, uh, you know, the whole music streaming business uh, is actually the next pivot, uh, which which we should be talking about, uh, you know, which is, which is revolutionizing the entire industry. Uh, and yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, you, you could be anyone, you could be, you could be singing anything. And it, the 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 divide of genres the divide of uh, 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 you know the the whole you know legacy of wherever you're coming from has broken big time you know mm -hmm. today uh, if you have it in you if you you can write like nice lyrics if you can have some great tune if you can have some great you know poetry or anything or any expression uh, which could be musical uh, I think I think I think we are living in I mean time has come that golden age of music in India has arrived and it's going to be big time now because the global giants are here you have the Spotify's and YouTube music they are really uh, I mean there's a whole war going on in terms of digital, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. sphere. Distribution, yeah, and, yeah, absolutely. You know, and you know, we have, we have, we we've been blessed with the number game. You know, we have 1.2 yeah. billion people. We have the consumers, which is one of the largest. Uh, 2027, uh, we will cross China, so we would be the largest consumer economy. Uh, imagine, uh, and I mean, there's immense scope. Uh, I mean, even the streaming piece, you see. Right now, the premium segment, uh, whoever is subscribing to premium is around 1% odd. This will increase phenomenally mm. because you will start choosing, you will be, you want to go ad free, you want to go, you want to download your music. You want, so, you know, eventually this will all help the musicians get the revenue. Eventually this will, and this, this whole, this whole, this whole thing of streaming is bringing a whole lot of transparency, you know, uh, in terms of. Uh, you know who is consuming what? Who is actually listening to your music? And uh, you know, and and you know, somewhere I feel uh, uh, it's 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 one of the best times to be musicians in the country. And and next five years is going to be. Uh, I mean, this is going to be this this is going to be a very different economy altogether. The music music music, music economy. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, th things have taken up. The pandemic has definitely helped, especially the independent artists, because you know. I think um, during the pandemic itself, the so social media was always a support system earlier, but social media has taken off during because that was our only resource, right? That's the only thing that everybody went to as a, a, a you know, so that was the only path forward. And I think where so many YouTube stars have come up and you know, the other, other good thing, I mean, uh, that you must have noticed as well is that Earlier, like we used to say, okay, the artists go to a studio, they record a song, the voices get auto-tuned and, you know, they're kind of melodyned and all that kind of stuff. But when you're performing on social media, there's no melodyning and auto-tuning. So it is what you are. And I think that has helped create some very good artists. So people have actually spent time practicing, rehearsing so that they could sing better on their, on their Instagrams and on their YouTubes and then put out songs. They learned how to create music at home. They learned how to digitize their content and put it out. And I think, yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, the pandemic has helped us decode our next step forward. In Mostly thanks to, thanks to not much Bollywood coming in that duration yes. also. 
And there you was know, no option. Yeah, yeah, Hollywood couldn't so do if anything. You to, if you had to hear new music, it was coming out of independent artists. Yeah. Uh, the Spotify's Radar India, uh, that particular uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, streaming uh, cha- uh, channel uh, has been viewed so much, and yeah. thousands and thousands of musicians which have come come up big because of that. And you know, there's a whole. And, and it's easy, like you know, you just record and you just uh, you know you're out there tomorrow you're just releasing your music um you know at the digital platform so it's become so easy uh because going through publishing and recording labels was always a tedious affair and you know mm-hmm. it, 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 and it's you a process. Always, it's a process that... happening that oh you're chosen one or you're not so mm-hmm. that, again you know the, the whole independence it's it's a real independent uh, uh, you know scene happening right now and and uh, i'm so glad that we are living in this time that today any musician who wants to who has it in him can become a star tomorrow i mean you know and nobody was cop- nobody was going the path of covers if you notice it uh, wasn't that you know you just had to see a single chapter like just to become a famous person it wasn't that they were singing their own song in fact hangama i remember when shamini was working on this project and they came up with this thing of independent musicians to promote them and they set up that app they tied up with big fm and i often make it a point to hear that program because it is independent artists and she's they've actually managed to get them a platform on the radio so you know it's a, it's like a natural thing people are going to listen to it and so i feel the radio channels too kind of need to give us space for independent musicians and not just play uh, you know only bollywood st- as no, much as i totally no, respect no, bollywood i have nothing against bollywood of course no, no, you see the change there also in radio channels also people are doing they indie are coming in yeah indie things people are no they i mean see this is going to become mainstream like nobody's business i'm telling you 5 years down the line everyone will be i mean the bigger stars themselves will say i mean there are so many bigger stars which are claiming that oh, i am an independent musician mm-hmm. you know i am an independent mm-hmm. correct yeah no, you're right the, it's like you need to say that yeah. i'll use strange data that 50% of the music which is now playing on pdc music channel is created by individual artists they are Amazing. individual artists and the yes. biggest success story i'll say this is the golden <clears throat> era i completely agree with siddharth because the artists learned that they don't need the big studios all the musicians sitting together Correct. and then making music now i can do my audio at my home studio send the track to the music director who will then get a guitarist from maybe london and he'll get a flautist from uh, spain yeah. or tabla player from jalandhar and then they will collaborate send their own tracks and it will all be mixed mm-hmm. and now suddenly you are sitting at home and here you have a brilliantly mixed track i mean uh, you know, I, i did this experiment at home my wife is a singer so she would record her audio then the uh, flautist was in jalandhar the tabla player was in mohali and the guitar my son plays guitar he was in oxford and then he was mixing the sound in uh, london there and sending the track back on which we were then creating the music video and then the song was and it was out and everybody was think that so, everybody has been so together and you have suddenly it. suddenly yeah. you don't need an air manager to notice you you don't need to go out and give your samples or plead with people to record them or release them or spend your own money and create yeah. stuff and if you don't have money then you are actually selling something and in the past uh, this used to happen that you're doing some job and in the free time you're creating some sort of music yeah as a hobby to, as a hobby as a hobby now suddenly you can reach millions you're creating music at home collaborating with the best of the talent creating those tracks creating those videos and suddenly they're out there the yeah. uh, the the uh, the mushroom cloud i would say of the music that burst during corona is now engulfing everyone and suddenly the opportunity are there and people are getting noticed careers are being made people are making living out of creating music on their own which was unheard of earlier yeah. it's happening now so and that's a the- collaboration it is actually like you said it was fantastic because i know so many artists there's a bass guitarist here and she's collaborating with a flautist somewhere else there's another singer here she's collaborating with a rapper across the world yes. so and then at the end of the day they're putting together a video and they're presenting you would actually think they're sitting standing together Absolutely. in the same studio and doing it but And so that is where I think digital technology has kind of really taken off. All this would not have happened, honestly. I the way I look at it, none of this would have happened at least for a while. Just the way it has taken off. So yeah, the minds opened up. This yes. can be made like this. 
If yeah. you didn't have cheap internet available in our country, uh, yeah. this yeah. was not possible. This was not possible. And uh, now with 5G coming in and all that, you will see yeah. this going in a very different direction. This yeah. this whole thing of uh, uh, you know issues uh, which we saw in uh, in live jamming virtually, yeah. uh, the uh, the whole lag and whole whole yeah. issue. Yeah. This will also get sorted out from 5G. You know, you will see real live collaborations happening virtually. Absolutely. Uh, and, and this is going to change. And uh, like I said, I'm very bullish about, uh, you know, where we are and wh where this industry is today. And so much young talent coming in and expressing themselves and taking up, making a career out of themselves. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. And they're making global careers. Look at Prateek Kohar. Yeah, exactly. Career. You know, he's, exactly. he's a global star today. You know, he's... he's All he's, of them. All of them. I mean, I'm just naming a... a, yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Example, exactly. You know, coming out of a small town like Jaipur. Mm -hmm. And he's becoming a, a, a global icon. He's, he's, he's doing 100% sold out shows in US, UK, wherever he's performing. You know, so... So, I mean, and, you know, these kind of musicians, or you used to only hear in music festivals earlier, okay. right? It used to be dedicated music festivals, which are yeah. very... And that's where you are to sample them. But uh, things have changed today. Things have completely changed today. They have a fan following like in a big way. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, 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 it's great times to be. No, no, you know, in fact, at uh, the beginning of the pandemic, we started a series called In Conversation. And that time, exactly like you said, the you know internet wasn't that great. So there were challenges trying to get the artists to perform live, etc. So we did try to record. They would specially record for them because we never believed in going the YouTube way because that everybody has access to. Mm. But you know, while you're talking also, internet used to be a challenge. But you know, we did this show with uh, uh, Nathuji, Nathalal Salanki from Pushkar. And he oh. is the Nagara maestro, right? Now, the difference over here was that he... Um, you know, the people, when we put that show out, when we were doing the live show, the people who joined his audience, his students, his fan following, Brazil, uh, Germany, uh, Switzerland, Austria. <coughs> and we were like, oh my God, you know, and uh, we, we had decided, star. you know, That's we had, super star. Yeah, and we, we had this, yeah. absolutely, we had decided to ticket those in conversations, particularly because we wanted to see a dedicated audience. We didn't want random, of course, I mean, you know, when you, especially when you're interviewing people where there's the genre of the music is the hero, right? So we kept a minuscule figure of 100 rupees for Indians. And I think it was whatever, some few euros and dollars for the uh, international uh, joinees. And people bought tickets like how, in fact, we had more international revenue than Indian revenue for that particular show. And I think his, his show had the largest audience. And it was amazing. So this is just trying to say the reach. Now, Nathuji is from a small town of Pushkar. But look at this global following. And he's a simple man. Very simple man, humble to the core. But look at his global following. So it's exactly the same thing, how technology has helped. And by the way, now back to, de we are decoding the next pivot, right? So that is where technology has come in, helping the younger artists grow. What about these older ones? They never had any technology. When Nathaji became a spread globally, there was no technology. There was no social media that took him there, right? So obviously, there were people behind his fan following, his lovers who took him out. So that's what yeah, I, even, even the experienced artists uh, are evolving. You know, they understand, they understand the whole, uh, you know, thing that, you know, this is what they have to adapt to. And um, uh, you know it's 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 good. And uh, you know I feel I feel um, you know uh, uh, as I mean as experienced musicians you are, you are more evolved, as much evolved to take uh, newer things. And you know, uh, and I'm sure uh, uh, a lot of them are releasing uh, uh, digital music, uh, you know, streaming uh, in various platforms. So it's 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 great. It's it's great to uh, That's have true. music coming. That's true. So, uh, uh, Mr. Narayan, back to you. So, tell us about, like, you've obviously been receiving a lot of music from younger artists. In fact, I, I would really be happy if you can share your email ID online because, you know, I remember some artists reached out at that point of time. Uh, they're Bengali artists and they're artists from, from all over the country. Well, So, they were experimenting with Punjabi music and they actually created some very good Punjabi music. So, at that point of time, I thought, you know, it would be ideal to connect them with you where uh, not only 
could you give them a platform for visibility but you could also guide them on you know what was like whether they were doing it right or whether you know what were the kind of things that they could bring into their music and because i thought the fact that a bengali artist is experimenting with punjabi music that itself i thought was a win win <laughs> no it is an interesting thing my uh, video director and music director here in ptc is an assamese guy oh so see now look at this and and we create fantastic punjabi music uh, with them and the the key for us the biggest happiness that you got was people who could not afford it but were immensely talented hmm. now we are at 3:30 we are uh, doing a concert uh, with such artists who earlier were unknown now wow. they are coming into our studios we are recording them we are making them perform live to the worldwide audience and when it is broadcast it goes hmm. to us it goes to canada it goes to australia to middle east in europe it goes everywhere and suddenly they have following all over the world yeah exactly and then and once they become popular here that's when they start getting shows yeah. the money for an artist is not in making music and releasing it online or portals or streaming platform the money for them is shows the most troubled time for them was pandemic when there were no shows happening but that's when they learned the technique the technology they adapted they created music now the music is coming out now they're getting the shows and the world has opened up suddenly uh, artists like anu amanath or uh, certain like g saab and all they're getting shows in canada the shows getting shows in europe that's because of the visibility that you are giving them not only us is uh, the visibility right now is in their own hands yeah. they can That's create the music create true. their video put it on social media and other platform and then the world is watching them I mean, we are a medium we are one of the mediums and we give them a platform worldwide that we have a record label we have a recording company we have a publishing company we have a television channel we have facebook youtube and a audio platform so it's a one stop shop for them so once they come here they put their stuff here and there's no money involved for them we hmm. do it for me it's software which is coming to me for them it's their break the much needed break Absolutely. which you would never get without money so we have our own studios equipment we shoot them we record them created and then we put them out in the world then it's up to their talent if they are good correct they'll get popular they'll make good money they will get shows and then we feel good about it kor vi ranjit bawa Uh, uh nimrat khaira tanish kaur all these artists are those who came to our uh, music contest voice of punjab mm-hmm. the voice of punjab chota champ or the voice of punjab seniors and they emerged out of it and today they are big stars yeah. and that's so how they just so that we could give them their launch platform yeah an artist only needs a launch platform now and then their job is done if they're talented they're sure to get noticed and they'll get work and But that's what is know, happening the most important word is what you just said is talented talented and how good they are with their music see it's like not just that um, you know i've done like one year of riyaz etc and i can i'm ready to get onto the stage you will last for this much and no more so i think at the bottom line is that also that they need to be well practiced because they'll become like a one song wonder then you know that's it after that they won't grow so that's very important for their growth as well so exactly like we said you know digitally or decoding the next pivot but also for your own growth you need to be consistent with your practice you need to be consistent with your music you need to be sincere about it yeah. you know passion is one part but you need to be sincere about it otherwise you know you'll end up getting a break you'll end up doing those one or two songs and after that what if you have to grow you have to be sincere about it yes absolutely so uh, may i request you to share like your email id or some kind of contact information which we can share over here with the listeners because i know there are many who try yeah. who would like to reach out to you so at least they know that fine we don't have to go through showcase or we don't have to go through loudest we have mr nara and directly up for us and we can reach out to him so it's very simple r n r for russia and for nagpur at ptcnetwork.com okay ptc i am also i am also available on facebook on twitter on linkedin instagram you can direct message me anywhere and okay. i'm going to put it to my relevant teams and then they to go take over perfect super so the i hope everybody has heard the email id i'm going to repeat that is rn at the rate ptcnetwork.com so it's really not difficult and they are on all the social media handles as well so you can reach them directly in fact that's what everybody is doing nowadays is i've reached out to so many artists like that pinging them on instagram and finding them through facebook and saying hey i need to talk to you 
So it's interesting and everybody responds. I mean, that's the good part now. It's, I think that way social media has made the world closer, has brought the world closer as well. So Siddharth, yeah. onto, onto you, uh, like you've also been promoting a lot of young talent, etc. And so um, to tell us a little bit about your experience and how, how do you think, I mean, uh, do you see other than the fact that, of course, there is a growth industry and there is Spotify's and all these that have come into the country, there's their distribution channels, their publishing houses, their labels, everything is there. But tell, I want to hear about from, uh, from you about the talent that is there. So, I mean, I'm not saying that they're going to evaluate or judge any talent, but do you feel that there is sincerity? Do you feel this potential for growth if they, because they have to focus. It's not just about, you know, uh, the other thing that I want you guys to bring up very importantly is that right now, the way I'm noticing is that every artist, the moment they release a song, the first thing they do is, I got 1 million likes. How important is that? Isn't it more important to get, give a good quality product? Your likes will automatically happen. So I want you guys to talk about this because this really gets my goat. It let, irritates. Let, me, let me give you an insight. Yeah. The trouble is like the television industry, which is in the midst of this TRP game. Yes. The music industry has also got stuck in the game in game of likes and views and views. Oof. The YouTube actually did this, and everybody now it's become the Bible. How many views on YouTube? Yeah. And you've we've seen the biggest of the names buying likes or buying yes. numbers. I know people project that they're that. popular. Yeah, I know they've done that. Yeah, and unfortunately the quality took a backseat because they knew. Like likes to lay in a minute. Shows me. You know, I mean, I'm shocked, yeah. Look, but, it's it's no, a whole no, industry no, no, in no, itself. No, 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 no. It is millions these days. How, <laughs> it's not how many, how many likes in million in a day? You know, that's <laughs> where the whole thing is. <laughs> it was thousands and it became million, and it's, now it's how many hundred million or five hundred million? <laughs> it's, it's a complete revenue industry over there, separate revenue industry altogether, isn't it? They don't realize that the, that amount of money they could have put into their music or put exactly. together a show, yeah. that amount is going to just platforms who are minting money on this psychology that the, they need to have views. Because when I go for a show, the man will not know my name. He will see how many views does he have? How many followers does he have? And unfortunately, that's a bad thing that's happening. And slowly, I'm sure, very slowly, the filtration will happen. The real talent will stand out. Then the likes and numbers and views won't matter. will not matter. The but talent you know, will matter. Mr. It happens. See, I have a, once I have a, a little, once little, it happens. I have a little contrarian view to this. I feel, you know, this is this is a part and parcel of the whole game. See, uh, you know, uh, and trust me, it it, it works for, for some people to see how many million views someone or how many views uh, someone has got uh, to kind of you know uh, here to what what's what's trending you know that trending thing mm -hmm. so, so it, you know if it works it works i mean the, i mean who are we to debate on it on the quality and all that you know which is which is okay uh, um, i mean uh, if, if you one has to go on the morality of you know, you buying those things and that's another debate because yeah, I mean, uh, one should uh, one should feel that it should be organic, but hey, people are doing this. Um, but uh, like I said, I mean, it's 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 going to be it's go you you'll always have the goods and the bads coming together of any kind of uh, you know. I I I will rather focus on the goods and yeah. you know. Uh, um, I, I mean, it's it's so much better uh, uh, for for anyone to to get noticed today uh, for being a musician. And uh, you know, again, the following and the likes would always be accordingly, right? I mean, if I mean, if you if you are a Bacha fan, you are a Bacha fan, right? I mean, you would you, you you whatever he whatever he brings out tomorrow, anything which he which he brings out tomorrow would be would be watched and watched by millions. I mean, and you can't really. I mean, and it's debatable, right? The quality of music is very debatable. It might not sound good to you. It might sound yeah, great. Exactly. That that's a subjective thing. So, so I feel uh, these are part and parcel of the whole uh, whole digital uh, phenomena, uh, and uh, I think you know it's it's that the audience eventually will mature, you know, and would understand that okay, uh, you know, this is and now people know, right? People know that oh, this guy also buys likes, <laughs> you know, and it's 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 all it's all there. I mean, till the time the music doesn't groove you. I mean, bottom line, till the time the music doesn't groove you. 
and doesn't move you uh, you know uh, it doesn't it doesn't uh, i mean it doesn't matter uh, you know whatever uh, you know uh, the, the other person is doing but it when it does it does right you know it's somewhere it touches you and somewhere it moves you um, and it could be anything uh, and again we are not uh, i don't think so uh, we are here to judge the quality of music no, no no but you know what it's also become like uh, like in the current day time it's become like a chicken and egg situation when you propose an artist to a corporate you know uh, when they ask you the first thing they go and see is how many views does this person have or how many likes and then they tell me they said oh this guy is not that great area so how do you create a person you know i mean look at the following this guy has he said he can't sing a sa straight this person can sing up till like dhani mauka to do usko this is yet par uska matlab visibility nahi hai so that is you know so that is it it so like i'm saying that there is nothing wrong and there is nothing right like i mean uh, we are nobody to judge nobody is anybody to judge anyways it's not because there isn't a wrong and there isn't a right you got to survive it's about survival and it's about bringing forward the best foot but yes i have to say that exactly like mr narayan said a lot of good music has unfortunately got in the back seat because you know everything is coming out and being judged on the basis of likes and views where we feel that the audience needs to be and the people need to be a little bit more liberal and more exploratory uh, when it comes to this because i think the other artists need to be given a chance just because well, well, the flip side is there is a lot of money power comes in and yeah. we all know what is happening in punjabi music industry yeah. with the money power comes in, in the gangsters and the shows oh. iska show gira do uska show lagwa do iske cancel kar do we've just that's seen so happening. much that's happening so that's, in the punjab that's the that's the saddest aspect yeah. of creating music yeah. that the music is now being engulfed in the money power those who have money will rule the roost and that's because not it's become, yeah it's not that's not music that's not music music is way beyond all this and unfortunately you know this i won't even say is a commercial this is a evil part uh, that the kind of exploiting uh, the such a such a pure and such a pious uh, you know art form and i think that's like that's really not acceptable so what just, happens is i'll tell you what happens to the poor musician when they go to uh, an agent he says itna view nahi aayega to tumko show nahi milega you won't get shows if you don't get you he say i don't have money then he says i will invest but yeah. sign a contract 80% of your money is going to come to me for 3 years you'll get only 20% and that's that's what is happening to the industry today Correct, yeah. walk off with that 80% because they're investing that money into buying likes not into creating music not into helping the artist to create artist has to spend to create music after that he goes to an agent boss make it popular take it to people hmm. that's when they invest that's when the money power comes in that's when they have to recoup their investment and that's when this underworld gangsters and all this comes in and a that's a whole new industry got kind yes. of set up yeah yes so that that's a sad part so i just want to ask or just the uh, priti and tushar ruhel are uh, shamir and uh, sapir joining or should we continue because i mean there is so many more things that i'm thinking of and uh, so ivana if you can just help us with that uh, or just the uh, priti okay since so I don't know whether they are. Would have been great if Sukhbir would have been here. He is, has. He is. He would have tales to tell you of the journey that he has been. That's what I would have loved to hear. And even Shamir, Shamir has been there like yeah. ever since till today, and he has actually seen the evolution of the industry. So for decoding the next pivot, he would have been absolutely the apt person to come in. So Preeti, sorry you joined in for a second, but uh, are the other two joining in? Are the two panelists joining in? Would you know? Hi, am I audible? Yes. Are the other two panelists joining in? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to see. Do we have uh, Sudhir joining? No, us? they are not. They are right. not. They are not here right now. But uh, if you can just check backstage. Hey, hi, Nandita. Actually, they are having a bad network. Sudhir so okay. is in Dubai, so he's having a very bad network there. So he okay. won't be joining today. Okay. And is Shamir? Shamir is also in Dubai, or he's in Bombay? Yeah, he's not available. Okay, so, so it's continue with okay. this. Okay, Thank fine. Thank you so much. So back to us guys. So tell me one more thing. Now we come back to uh, now. Let's pick up the actual subject right now, right? Decoding the next pivot. So uh, given where we are today, uh, we are in 2022, where the music industry has, you know, given the COVID, and we've all heard the. 
pros and the cons of COVID, et cetera. We've all been doing it for the last two years and talking about it and the challenges that we face. But of course, given the positives that it's made us, we, it's brought in technology and taken us to the next space altogether. And from the time when we started to today, it's only growing. Every day we are blasted with something new. Like I've reached a point when I say, I've learned the T, E, C, I can't do anymore. Like at my age, I'm done. I'm exhausted now. But every day there's a new thing coming in. And so where do you see the industry? I won't even say in the next five years or 10 years, that's too far a time with the way things have been evolving and changing. Where do you see the industry in the next one year? We are now in 2022, June 2022. Where do you see it by the next World Music Day, June 2023? First, over to Mr. Narayan. See, the biggest change that I see is it's the death of music companies music labels, and maybe music television channels. Mm -hmm. The artist has the power in their own hands now. They can create music, they can publish music, they can distribute music, and they can earn their own money directly. There are middlemen which are going to go away. The streaming platforms, the digital platforms, they'll be in the forefront. Even the FM radios, the television channels, where there was appointment viewing, you come at a certain time to listen, whosoever is available at that time is the star, is gone. Now I'm searching for my kind of music, the kind of mood I'm in, the kind of artist I'm into, I'll search for them, Ghana.com, YouTube Music, uh, any platform, streaming platform, Spotify, there are 170 such platform. I'll go to my platform, I'll get my music there, so I know that if I'm an artist, I'm a good artist, and I can spend a little bit on distributing to make my reach wider, I'll get the audience. Once I have the audience, that audience will have a web effect. It will get me more audience, and my network will evolve. I will start getting queries, I will start getting shows, and I will start getting money. So the biggest revolution in the next one year you will see is every artist will have their own music label, their own publishing, their own copyright, their own making, uh, money in their own booking paraphernalia and platforms like Facebook paid events mm. will be in the forefront where I can sell my own tickets. I don't even need an agent on my Facebook page. I will just make tickets available, appointment viewing, six o'clock on Saturday. I have a concert on. Guys, you want to see me? Go on. Come on. You want to learn music from me? You want to collaborate with me? We're all available digitally. So the international collaborations, individual artists, making music on their own, that will be the key thing for the future. And the shows will be smaller as well as bigger. Both kinds of shows are going to work now for artists. A smaller audience in a, uh, in a let's say, amphitheater setting, a bigger mm -hmm. audience in a arena setting, everything is going to work. You create music, it'll work. Uh, and most of all, the artists are going to get shows. The moment you start getting yes. shows, you're making money. The industry will strive with this. They will thrive. That is true. Siddharth, what is your thought on this? Uh, I, I kind of agree with Rabindra. And, uh, you know, I feel uh, uh, it is evolving by ours, Nani. Yeah, mm. You know, the thing is really evolving by ours. And um, um, uh, I think in next one year, you never know. You might see a Despacito coming out of India. Yeah. Yeah. You might see... No. You might see a global, uh, you know, a single coming out of India, which becomes like a big thing. And I, I must tell you, you will see huge amount of regional music resurging back. Mm, mm, uh, mm. You know, the South Indian music. Look at what South Indian movies are doing. Fantastic. Uh, uh, you know, so the whole regional content, uh, uh, and re which includes regional music, is something to look forward to and their time has come. Their time has arrived, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, they, I mean, the whole, they've always struggled uh, in this, in this whole scenario, vis-a-vis uh, -vis Bollywood. So that uh, aspect would, would be something to watch out for. Um, and uh, uh, like, like it's right, like, like it was rightly mentioned by all of us before that, you know, platform is not no more a struggle anymore. You know, platform is no more a struggle anymore. Uh, and, uh, you know, tomorrow, if you made something nice, it, it just goes viral. It's all okay. heard. And by the way, we're not even discussing and talking about metaverse. 
Uh, oh yes, we. That was my will, next thing I was going to come what, to. Yeah. What will happen there? The yes. whole collaboration of uh, you know uh, uh, you know amazing visuals and animations and you know your avatar singing there out there for you. With your and, NFTs out there. Yeah, so yeah, and, that's what I want you guys to talk know, about. That was my next uh, thing I was uh, coming to. That's another thing. Uh, uh, yeah. you know, it happened and uh, you know which will and there will be a whole sink of metaverse with with live telecast and you know uh, you know if you know a sporting uh, event you you have some artists coming and performing and you have some you know so i mean this is this is going to be uh, crazy from here on and, and it, vr concert vr concert is in any case started yes, earlier yes but, yes it's going to be a reality but, within yes. months in india Absolutely, right. because you know, with the headsets available and now the variety of headsets. Earlier, it was Oculus only, and you know, you had that one piece. But now, with uh, of course, cardboard was never really the best quality that you could get. But I mean, it is there. So it's not that you know there was a restriction to it or limitation because you did not have the Oculus device. But uh, basically, the web VR has gone beyond being device specific. So you know, it's kind of it's again bringing the industry here. So I want to hear about the NFT. We've what, had what great success with the VR. Uh, we are Concept. now broadcasting 100% live mm -hmm. from Golden Temple. The oh, Gurbani wow. is sung yes, there. That's right. It's available in virtual reality, mm -hmm. 360 degrees. And we thought there'll be a few hundred people who'll see it. It's thousands of people watching it wow. on video and on our app uh, and on YouTube. So it's broadcast real time, live, 360 degree VR. So after that success, we thought, let's do a concert. So we did a virtual concert. Hmm. concert where one artist was performing from Amritsar, one was performing from Mohali, one from Delhi. Now we are converging it into VR. Yeah, the artist wow. performing in a virtual reality kind of settings hmm. and the audience will be in a virtual arena where your mind and body will say that you are sitting in a in ticket, that same space. ticketed seat where you bought the place yeah. and you're seeing it from there. Yeah. So, that, so that, that's, that's going to be the next big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where it's headed. Yes. Uh, Siddharth, your experience on the VR part? Uh, uh, you know, when the pandemic hit us, remember uh, uh, the game Fortnite was launched. Hmm. Fortnite was, of course, uh, the biggest rage amidst, amidst the youth and, uh, you know, I mean, uh, billions of, uh, you know, kids were hooked to it. And uh, Travis Scott launched his track at that moment, you know, hmm. in, uh, in that game. Uh, you know, when the game was launched and, uh, you know, we're, we're going towards that. The entire e-gaming industry is really moving in a, in a big speed again. That's another... Uh, it went you know, viral. Gaming industry went crazy so, totally. So gaming, gaming and music is, is, has a huge scope, huge scope of integrating. Uh, so, you know, uh, I beg to differ there, uh, you know, future might not be just about live shows. Uh, it future is all about integration and finding your platforms into and multi platforms, you know, it mm -hmm. could, it's be, and, uh, you know, even you, when you get when you stream today, and when you're when you have, you know, some sub, sub, so many subscribers or whatever, you get that kind of revenue coming from digital uh, uh, you know, platform. So, you know, even while the artist is sitting at home and doing not not doing shows, he's making his money today. You know, he if he has if he has that kind of followership, if he's getting those kind of you know subscribers and people are listening to him. So, I mean, uh, 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 Nani, the whole game is going to be changed. Uh, and, I mean, yes, there's nothing replacing live industry. Mm -hmm. uh, will always be there. It's not that it's going anywhere. I mean, this would, and you know, this will only thrive further. Yeah, the whole live true. experiences are going to even thrive further uh, because of this whole uh, multi-dimensional uh, availability of content, uh, which 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 uh, which becomes great for exposures and which becomes great for uh, you know you you seeing out there. So uh, uh, it's 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 going to be phenomenal. Uh, you know, uh, uh, times ahead and. Yeah, like yeah, like you somebody know, asked is, me, they said, oh, is kind of, you know, going in that direction was, is working on the direction uh, would have the first movers advantage, you know, would always true. Have, true, uh, true, true. Uh, uh, will be able to create that cult which follows them, uh, which is very different, uh, you know, uh, and, and youth today is consuming uh, entertainment in a lot different way. And so what, uh, what we used to do, correct, yeah. absolutely. No, and also like, you know, I get this, I get asked this question very often that, you know, since you guys specialize in virtual events, 
and are they here to stay? And I say, absolutely. First of all, they're not going anywhere. And now everything is hybrid because of the advantage we have seen with hybrid. Life has its own energy. There's no, nothing can replace life that we're not even contesting. But yes, definitely bringing in the virtual aspect to the life, creating a hybrid environment. You know, the outreach is so much better. Time is saved. Economically, it's more viable. Uh, you know, like we've been doing conferences, for example, or we've got uh, artists and speakers joining in from across the world. You're not spending that much time for a half an hour session or for a half an hour performance to come across the globe and then go back and look at the kind of money involved. So, of course, I mean, life has like I always maintain that it has its own energy, but the outreach is definitely better with technology. So tell me one thing. Of course, I, I'm i zero when it comes to understanding NFTs and blockchain and uh, the Bitcoins, etc. Right. I don't I just know these words. I have no idea what they mean. So um, I'd be delighted to have you all. And I'm sure in the audience today, there are many like me who are struggling, trying to understand, but we want to keep up with the NFTs. So what exactly uh, is it? And what does it mean for the music industry? Because basically that is where it's all headed. So what does it mean for an artist and how should they reach out to the NFT space to put out their music so that it gets bought? And what does it mean when somebody buys your music or buys your song? What does it mean for the artist? So uh, Siddharth, why don't you take this first? Yeah, so like I said, you know, the metaverse is taking over and uh, um, I feel uh, uh, people will have their own uh, avatars doing a whole lot of stuff uh, in that space. Uh, people, fans are buying moments, fans are buying, fans are buying, you know, what all, I mean, fans are buying anything which is coming out there in NFT and you'll have, and like I said about Fortnite, now Fortnite's success has been its online concerts. Hmm. It has a huge success rate. They've had Jay Baldwin, they have Ariana Grande playing, they've had, they had many artists, they have Lil Nas performing, they have had, you know, they've had huge amount of success which they saw in, in these online concerts which are, which have happened in a game format. Hmm. So, you know, uh, so there's going to be a collaboration of a whole lot of animation and music coming together, your, uh, and, and, and that's, that's something which is, which I feel is the future. I feel Indian industry should really look at, uh, I've not seen anyone working on that in India, very frankly, till now. No, there uh, are a few, there are a few artists that have yeah. put up their music as, uh, as an NFT, but I just want to understand, uh, maybe like, you know, uh, Narayan, you can help us with this. So if some, if an uh, artist, practical aspect music, of, yes, there's a practical art. If I'm an artist, how does it benefit me? Now, huh. to create music, I need funding. Either Correct. I'll invest, I'll borrow, I'll go to a label or ask someone to fund. I Correct. need to shoot a 30 lakh exotic video and I, I need to record collaborating with the best of the international talent and it'll cost me 10 lakh rupees. So overall, huh. I need about 40 odd lakh rupees to create a masterpiece which would be no less than anybody. Now, I don't have the money. What I can do is I will appeal to people that I'm going to create this and you can own a portion of it. So they fund you, they'll give you money. Okay. Yes, go ahead. I'm your fan. I'm putting in this money to own this thing that you're creating. And when it gets released, the royalties or the income that comes from it from across the globe, you also get a part of it. So if I invested one rupee, my one rupee might get me 1.5 rupees back hmm. because forever, as long as the uh, asset will remain, digitally active in the metaverse or in the you know, digital uh, platforms. It'll keep on earning money and the money will keep on accruing to me, not just to the artist, but to everybody else who invested in that artist. Okay, I so get that's it. the practical aspect of it that I can, uh, it's like investing in a company and then in the shares of that company and then making money from it. Get it. Plus get it. I'm the top star artist and I've created something and I'm now putting it in the market that, hey, you can also go on this creation. You can have rights. You can have sync rights of it. You can have, uh, 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 I would say, dubbing rights or a language rights of music I've created. And they're available to you. You pay in my digital currency and you mm -hmm. can have this right and record. Now I have to record a cover version. I need to go and ask for permissions. I don't know mm -hmm. where to go and ask. Now I can take it digitally from the artist directly. Mm -hmm. I can invest in the product also. I go on it also. So a whole lot of investments, whole lot of earnings, whole lot of collaborations, and whole lot of owning the creation 
comes into their play right now. So the artist doesn't really lose all sole rights to the song that they have created. They just get co-owners. So they are just more stakeholders to that particular song. And then as a result of it, everybody, everybody tends to gain uh, in yes. terms of revenue. As an artist, if I don't have money, why would I mind that people are investing? Correct. Investing in me and they are making money also from it. I'm making my money. They're making their money. Correct. So which is which is a fair deal. So it so as as um, as somebody who can advise us to the artist, maybe it's a good idea to uh, put up your songs as NFTs, right? Or your yes. music out as music videos as NFTs. Yes. So good yeah. idea. More than more than they selling song, I think that's. Uh, 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 I mean, it's it's the moment which they sell. You know, it's yeah. it's it's something which uh, you know uh, a lot of merchandise and a lot of virtual yeah. merchandise and a lot of artwork around you and a lot of uh, you know, costumes, which, which which is going well and which is really going crazy money. You never would have imagined yeah. uh, what your your one poster can fetch you uh, when when someone is uh, you know buying it at the NFT space. So you know that's the area which which wherein you're seeing a whole lot of new fans coming in, and you know uh, you of course have to be backed with a great uh, um, you know. A, you know, it's 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 a collaborative time with other art forms. Actually, you know, if you're a musician, uh, uh, you have to have a great graphic designer teaming you. You have to have a great uh, animation artist backing you. You know, <clears throat> and you can you guys can do wonders uh, as a team together. Um, you know, and uh, that's that's one area of collaboration which should really evolve uh, in times to come. Yeah. That's wonderful. So I think we've ended up giving some very, very good, important takeaways for the musicians and artists of today. And uh, and not just the artists of today, even of the yester years, uh, to just kind of, you know, pick themselves up and get into the digital space, because eventually that is the path forward. And true to our session where we said decoding the next pivot, which is really, it's all heading into that direction. So of course, not uh, foregoing the fact that you know, life space will always still have its prominence. But yes, now it will be complemented a lot with the digital space because that will help a lot more to grow. So thank you very much, gentlemen. I know that we were just the three of us, but we managed to pull off a session for one hour. I don't know if we bored our audiences or not, but I enjoyed every moment of it because I think it was a lot of learning for me in all of this. So thank you, Mr. Narayan, and thank you, Siddharth, for being with us today. And uh, I hand it over to Preeti. Thank you, Nani. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, everyone, for such a wonderful session. Thank you, Nani, for hosting this, for all the questions and a pleasure. the sharing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our lovely audience, I hope you enjoyed this session. We started off with uh, speaking to some lovely women in the industry, and then we had these really powerful people who uh, transformed the music industry, and now we know where we're headed, what's coming up next in the world of music. Uh, today is World Music Day and there's uh, a lot happening around that I got to know. There are free concerts all around. And uh, this is a day where uh, you should try out different types of music. Listen to something new or make a post on social media about music, about what you like. Let's celebrate this day. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. This is Preeti Katpa, your host. I'm from Mumbai, the city of dreams and uh, saying goodbye to you. I hope to see you soon. Enjoy World Music Day.